guys hey what's up first of all we're getting puppy tomorrow um i haven't talked about it at all because i didn't want to jinx anything here let me set you up right here come on okay guys this is our setup <laughs> For all of our, ew, I just put my foot in there, I'm sorry. Um, so this is all of our dog stuff we got. I'm gonna go through it really quick, it's all on the ground. Um, and so I'm gonna start from left to right. So we got this dog toy from Home Goods. I got these from the pet store, Nutrichumps, they're rawhide free, which I read are, cause um, rawhide I guess is bad for dogs. Um, I need to do more research and make sure that, that those are okay before I, um, give them to him but yeah um this little money thing which is so cute has a little St. Bernard on it from BarkBox which is from Target um let's see this brush was from Home Goods, I believe yeah five dollars and um because he is a burner um he's gonna need lots of brushing so hopefully that'll be adequate otherwise we'll have to get a new one but look at this little duck so cute he squacks too <laughs> squacks or quacks I don't know um this Kong because you know doggies love Kong we got that from Target we got this from Target which is just like a um, Westpaw play boomy I don't know but it's like squishy so I think you can chew on it and like we can play with them too hopefully and then this which I know um, that you're not supposed to give puppies um, these are just like play on but it's for tug of war um we will monitor them obviously because i know that they can ingest it and like it could be really bad for their digestive system and stuff like that i think they like the the rope parts get stuck if they like sit and chew on it so just a disclaimer and a psa i've read that those are very bad <laughs> for dogs but um and then here that's with our other stuff um these are from home goods as well just little balls, fetch balls. There's, um, they have holes in the middle, so I guess you can put treats in them. But they're just like squishy, so I thought that was nice. And then this is from Home Goods, just to put his food on because we have a matching cat one. I figured, no match, right, Frankie? Your new brother, he doesn't know what's coming for him tomorrow, do you, dude? Um, and then that is for this is for my parents. Um, I got my mom and stepdad this for their dogs. Um, it's like a leash with two ends to it, so it like splits off. If you can see the picture, it splits it off so they can walk both of them on one leash. And one is blind, so it will help them. <laughs> and then this we got from Amazon, just like a Chewy Vuitton toy, um, which is just so cute. Squeaks a little bit, not really a lot, but. <laughs> And then um, we got these training treats from the pet store as well. These are just training treats, three calorie treats, bacon flavor. Um, so hopefully these will be okay. They're just little tiny training treats. And we ordered clickers online as well. And then anyway, so now on to, oh, and then we also, I got this from Home Goods, this blanket. And just to, you know, have him have his own blanket while we're like on the right car ride home and everything um but then we got we got a few things from wild one and this came with our order from one of them so just like a little tennis ball we ordered uh, so i have three different harnesses here they're all different sizes because i'm not exactly sure which size he'll need this one i know is too big but it was on clearance on Nordstrom so look out on Nordstrom if you're looking for wild one stuff because I've seen it a lot I've gotten one of the collars there and I've gotten two of these harnesses actually both of these harnesses from Nordstrom and they were only like $15 so and originally they're like 50 or something so look out on Nordstrom they go in and out of stock all the time but um that's just a little PSA so I got this large size large one probably won't be able to wear that for a while but i got it just because it was too good of a deal then this one is a little one i don't i hope it won't be too small for him um this is a size hey 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 no 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 um anyway um this is a size what size is this one small which i think should be okay for him for right now but just in case and for him to grow into, I have this one, which is a size medium from Carhartt, which I bought on Amazon as well, which I just I just thought it was a cute one. So, um, yeah. Once I figure out the size, I'd like to ideally have a wild one just because I really like the quality of them and they're super cute. So, but I like the Carhartt one too. It's a little, it's, it's cute. Um, and then I found these. So I found this at Home Goods randomly. I don't know if it'll be too big for him, but I just got it because it was really cheap and... 
yeah so and it matches this stuff i just noticed but um then i got these two collars from wild one this one is a size small i believe and this one is a medium i think i think i don't know. this one i think should work but um if not there's this one or we'll just stop and get them one but um yeah so then now next sorry i have my bone on stuff out <laughs> um so next I have this wild one leash, which I highly recommend. I've never had a dog leash that feels like this. Um, and then the poop bags that just attach to it. I like that everything's matching with wild one. That's what I really like about them. Um, I just think it's like fun and cute and fresh, you know? Um, but anyway, I look like actual trash right now. So I'm not going to film that much of me currently, but I just wanted to do a little haul and I'm gonna pack this stuff up, get it ready for the morning because we are driving two hours there um, and back, two hours back, so four hours tomorrow. But um, on the way there, I just, or before that, I just wanna have everything ready you know, in the morning because we have to be there by 12, so we're gonna leave at like 9.30ish, um, hopefully, and be able to get on the road. So yeah, um, I'm gonna start packing up. And then this actually came with our cat um, backpack. And it's just like an expandable little water bowl. So I'm gonna bring that as well, just in case. Let me pick this stuff up really quick on the floor. Um, but this is the bag so far. Just two of the harnesses, um, and then snacks, some toys, because it's not that long of a car ride. I'm sure he'll probably sleep most of the time. Um, but yeah, let me take this tag off. But um, that's what's in there so far. Also, we figured um, 
again, just having his own blanket and um, so that we can put it with the cat so the cat can start smelling it. Whenever we get home, we can put it in there. Um, but yeah, so we'll stop eventually and so he can go to the bathroom whenever we get to civilization at some point because we're getting back roads of everywhere crazy anymore. But um, anyway, so yeah, so here's Felix. I just wanted to pop in and show it to you really quickly after we got him. But look at his perfect face. Is he not like the most perfect thing you've ever literally seen in your whole life? Yeah, I can't even name a more perfect thing. You're right up there. You are equal with Franklin, our kid. I cannot say that he's cute because he's not. You guys are both so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, I die. Okay, bye. Hi. Hi Felix, you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi! Hi baby! Hi honey bear! Hi! Yeah! Oh, this is a good boy! So this is Felix. Um, I wanted to sit down with you guys and him and kind of like just document him and getting him and talk about it. Um, first of all, he is literally the sweetest. He's just so sweet. Um, he just wants to do this all day, lay in, whether it's in our arms or on the floor or he doesn't really uh -huh. like the front. Yeah. Oh, big yawn. Yeah. Anyway. So, um, yes, we got a Bernese Mountain Dog, and this is him, Felix. So we've known we were going to get him, actually. Here, it's okay. Lay down. Lay down. So we've known we actually wanted to get him for, like, a very long time. So I'm going to talk about, like, that, finding the breeder and everything. Um, so I've been in Bernese Mountain Dog Facebook groups for, like, uh, probably about a year now. Um, since I moved out with Jared, we lived in our old house. We couldn't have a dog or a cat. So we just kept thinking about, okay, what kind of dog do we want? My, I grew up with St. Bernard's and my mom has two St. Bernard's right now. And so we were really wanting a St. Bernard or a big dog. But then I came across Bernie's Mountain Dogs and I was like, well, you know what? I have always had Bernie or St. Bernard's. Why don't I try this? I've, I watched millions of videos on it. And then finally Jared and I decided together that we thought a Bernie's Mountain Dog would be the kind of dog for us. Um, and so that's why we chose them so I put I went I'm in put got put in a bunch of like Bernie's Mountain Dog Facebook groups which are really really helpful by the way for like any dog that you're getting even like rescues or just like my best friend Brittany she um she just got a pit bull and she was in I think she found it from dog group so anyway um they're really helpful and people are very knowledgeable on them and they obviously care about the breed like a lot so that was really helpful um gave me a lot of information in general about breeders and stuff because I obviously knew that um I w tried to go the rescue route I tried to look up a bunch of different Bernese Mountain Dog rescues and it just seemed like it, there just weren't ever any that had like puppies because we wanted a puppy because we've never had a dog before and so we wanted to like be able to train it and um do everything down the line i'd love to rescue um before or rescue like an older dog um preferably probably but we did want a puppy for our first dog breeder um from a facebook group actually because i people were recommending her for being like um you know ethical and, and yeah so a lot of people recommended our breeder they were really really happy with her um so yeah because especially with Bernie's mountain dogs i wanted to make sure that our breeder was you know ethical and just like good um because um here i'll put you down maybe but because Bernie's mountain dogs um their breed which in, in general, like even for St. Bernard's, I know growing up, like they have problems with hip dysplasia, different things like that. So, oh my God, this is so cute. I'm sorry, I had to pause to show you that. Anyway, um, so, anyway. so yeah, things like that. And they have like um, high risks of developing cancer, di different cancers and different things like that. Um, so I wanted to make sure that obviously it came from a good, he came from a good bloodline and things like that. So we researched, found it, and um that's basically how it happened hey nope he's gotta go back. okay i'm taking him outside because i could literally tell that he had to go to the bathroom he started sniffing around so i'm like no 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 you're going to go potty because i tried to take him out a little bit ago and he did not want to go so let's go buddy oh, i forgot his leash that's all right can't get my shoe on fast enough <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, it's bread out there, isn't it? Okay. Let's go in the shade. All right, go potty. Go potty. Hey, good boy. Good boy, Felix. In the bathroom, so which I'm not supposed to be. I'm still trying to figure out how to potty train. So if you have any advice for potty training, please let me know down below because I've been trying to research all day. Jared obviously um, is helping me as well. I, I always say me, so it always sounds like it's just me doing it, but it's not. Um, he's just working downstairs right now and I work from like the family room. So I oversee everything and so that I can take care of him and stuff. My work is a little bit like easier to move around. So that's why that's happening right now. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. Um, but yeah, so I read that you're not like supposed to distract the puppy while you're, um, while he's trying to go potty, but you're supposed to like encourage him and, um, yeah, take him to the same spot every time so that he can smell where he went and that'll like trigger him to want to go more. No, 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 no. Go potty. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so in love. I'm just so in love with him. We just can't even believe we got so lucky and we can't even believe that like, yeah, we were just like in heaven yesterday when we went and picked him up because like I said, our breeder was really sweet. We already knew that. Um, but especially like going there again, just amazing. But, um, yeah. Oh, look at you. You're so cute and big. I know I'm not supposed to be distracting. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. I know you like going inside, don't you? Good boy. Good boy. Mm. I have to carry him up because we have stairs <laughs> all in our house. Um, and like from going inside and out. Oh, shit. Like, well, in between the garages and stuff because um, we have stairs <laughs> all over the place. But I just can't even deal with how cute he is. I just like can't. And so we have a kitten as well and they have met. But I'm not gonna disturb the kitten right now because he... <laughs> This is him currently. He is not yet super comfortable with him. He actually is not like being bad or whatever towards him. The, our cat, um, Franklin, his name is, he is about three months old, I think. Um, but yeah, he, we just got him like a month ago. Well, then he wouldn't be three months. Yeah, that way, that's about right. Um, but yeah, he's still trying to, befriend him well Felix is still trying to befriend Franklin but um yeah I'll put a picture of them or a video of them meeting right over here but it was it's so cute um to watch them Like I said, Franklin is still trying to figure everything out and trying to figure out, like, um, I guess to, if he can trust him and stuff. Um, I think he's a little scared of him. I think that's what it's mostly coming down to is that he hisses and he, like, will growl. And um, then, like, the dog will, the puppy will just be like, what? And, like, keep going towards him. And I think because he's a little bit bigger than the cat is um, that he, like, kind of freaks him out. So it's really cute. But, um, yeah be updated throughout today um if anything happens he does know sit i'll have jared show you that or i'll show you it later um but very very cute and um we're teaching him that and i think i don't know if i showed you that what kind of dog buddy is so my mom bought this one it's not dirty it just looks like it's just like that fabric but um this big one that we have next to our couch right here hey no 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 and then my sister brought him this come here No, 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 come on, come on, look at your Kong, look at, I picked this up yesterday, it has the little liver stuff in it, um, so we have his little bed over here, which is from Wild One, and yeah, he hasn't really sat on it yet, um, he likes the cold floor a lot better, but it is very cute, and we have this little blanket that we brought with him, and then we have, like, the cat tower here, we're trying to, like, you know, merge their spaces so they can kind of, Scent, smell each other and everything.
We had to get him to do it. Felix! Okay, first I gotta motivate him. Okay. So he's not in the zone right now. So true. You're not in the zone. We're gonna show you how he sits. Hold on. Felix, come. Sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> Felix. Felix. Come. Felix, come. Felix, come. Felix, sit. Oh my good goodness. Boy. Was, we just got this in the mail guys. So this is like um, we got these all from Amazon and this is like a little treat training pack um, To put your treats in either one of these sides. I think or maybe in here. No, I think maybe in here um, Just while we're training him and then it came with like little poop bags, which is nice. It came with a What is this called a dog whistle and one of the bells and it also came with one of the bells that you would hang on the door um, to like potty train them like that and then this little thing as well. So that was all like $16.99 on Amazon. Um, if you're interested, I thought I'd tell you because I think he's excited for it. Uh, yeah, he's been a good potty trained boy today. He's trying, aren't you? Push in my face. Um, look at his little, is that your water bowl? Show the people your water bowl. We got him a matching water bowl and um, food bowl from Target. I just thought they were really cute with the gold and black. And he seems to like it, don't you? Don't you? Where is Frankie at? Franklin, come here. <laughs> oh, was that fun? He goes and hides in his box. And he follows. Hey, be nice, guys. Nice. We've been putting all of our shoes up here. Hey, and look at and big tall guy realizes he can get up there. Oh, but we put all of our shoes up here because on the floor he just wants to. He likes to chew on them, don't you? Don't you? Felix, Felix, Felix. You see them? Yeah, see, like right now, he's trying to chew on my footsie. Oh, ow, ow! I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to pull your little face. <laughs> And here he goes. This is where his spot is whenever we're sitting and eating. He likes to lay under there and just chill. Oh. oh <laughs> that's him. Every day or um, all day he just comes and sniffs at him. And he's getting a lot more comfortable, I think. So, yeah. Wanted to do a check-in with little boy. Oh, hi. Hello. He said hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Come here. Come here. What do you have? What you got? What do you have there? Huh? What do you have there? Yeah. I don't look so fabulous, but um, I wanted to pop in and say um, I hope you enjoyed watching. We just wanted to say, oh, oh, he said, I'm in play mode. Bye. Okay, there you go. No. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. And subscribe down below if you want more videos, um, including my cute little animals. So if you're interested in that, I do vlog and I do, like, just random videos. And they pop up here and there um, a lot, actually. So, yeah, subscribe down below. It'll really help me out. And also follow me on Instagram. So I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.